I'm going to show you how to assemble the Easy Rig Shade System from Rolly Company. Before you assemble your system, you need to order the components. So I'm going to go through the parts and pieces with you now. You'll start by ordering the track. And the track comes with or without hook strip attached to it. This track does not have hook strip. The hook strip allows you to mount directly to the track, which is unique to this system to allow you to mount your shade directly to the track. The track comes in four or eight foot lengths and it's easy to cut with a hacksaw or a chop saw. You'll also need to order your drive rod, and this is a square drive rod, also in four or eight foot lengths. If you wanna go longer, we also have a splice where you can splice the drive rod. You'll need to order a clutch, and we have either a 15 pound clutch or a 20 pound clutch for your larger shades. The clutch comes with the screws for the end of the clutch and the end cap that goes on the end of the track. Next you'll need to decide how many drums you need. These are the drums that accept the cord from the Easy Rig, um, from the case lift cord shroud tape for the Easy Rig shade system. So these come without cord and you'll put the cord from the tape right up into the system. They have mounting brackets, and they also come with a tiny little plug, which will be in your package, so don't throw that away. That's important for when you put the cord into the system, and you'll see that in another video. You'll also need to order your bead chain loop, and we have this available in plastic or in metal and many different finishes to match your decor. And then the mounting brackets. We have two style of spring-loaded brackets. This is the wall mount, which can also be used as a ceiling mount. And then we have a flat ceiling mount bracket. That's perfect for an inside mount. We also have a swing arm bracket, and this can also be used for ceiling mount or wall mount. It has a little swing arm on the top. Now I'm gonna show you how to put it together. I'm going to start by putting the drive rod into the clutch. And I'm going to use the smaller clutch, so I'm going to set aside the large clutch. So here's the drive rod. It's already been cut to size. You will have to take allowances for the size clutch you're using, and this is included in the instructions. You're going to insert the square drive rod into the square hole on the end of your clutch. And make sure you push it in all the way. It goes in about 3 eighths of an inch. Now that's done. And you can either put this right into your track and start sliding your drums on, or go ahead and slide your drums on outside of the track, which is what I'm going to do. You'll need one drum for each row of encased lift cord shroud tape. And the drum has a little square part right on the top. You can see the drum spins around. There's a little square hole here. That's where that plug's going to go that accepts the cord. So as I load this onto the drive rod, I'm gonna keep an eye on that and make sure that's facing up. That'll keep my drum square and even as it's sliding onto the drive rod. So I'm gonna put four of these on for four cords. Now the first one that goes next to the clutch you want to make sure the little hole that accepts the cord is next to the clutch. And then the rest of them can go on um, any way you would like. Make sure the little hole is up. And it's putting a square peg into a square hole there. There we go. There's one more. And make sure the little square plug hole is up. Okay, and then the last one that's going next to the return, I want to make sure that the cord is coming up near the outside of the shade, so I'm going to turn that one around. It will not hurt the shade at all, it'll be fine. Make sure this little square hole is up, and then put that onto the drive rod. Now this can be a little trickier because you're going from the round hole into the square hole. So I just have to make sure I'm lined up. 
Okay, so I've got the square hole through, and now all four drums are on the system, and now I can put it into the track. So I'm just going to slide that in there, turn these up so that they fit into the groove on the track. So that's one. That's the return in. Turn the little brackets over, and I'll turn this up so that you can see it. So turn the brackets over so they're perpendicular. Once you put these together a couple times, you get very efficient at it, very fast. It's much easier to put together than some of the other systems that have so many loose parts. One thing I love about this system is that each chord has its own drum, so there's less chance of chords getting wound around each other. Turn the bracket so that's it's on top of the track as you put the clutch on, and then firmly snap the clutch into place. Now all the drums are on the track. I'm going to have to loosen this one up and turn it around. The only tool you need to put this together is a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and then of course a saw to cut your track. There we go, turn that one around. And I'm not going to tighten it all the way down, I'm just going to tighten it a little bit so I can still slide this around. Okay, now I can put the end plug on. And I'm going to tighten the clutch down. There's a screw on top. That'll hold the whole system in place. And the drums are going to go where your cord is. So when you put your, mount this under the board or uh, put your shade onto the track, line up where your cords come with this small hole. So I'm going to pretend the first one's at the end and tighten that down. And then this one I'm going to bring over. And wherever your cord is traveling up, slide that to that spot. Tighten it down, and then repeat that for any other cords that are on your shade. As the cord comes up, it's going into the guide on the drum, and then this one as well. Now you'll notice, I'm going to butt these two together, you do have a minimum distance apart that your cords can be in your encased lift cord shroud tape. From here to here, it's about nine inches apart. Now I'm going to show you how to put the B chain into the clutch. The clutch comes with one screw on the end. Go ahead and remove that, and there's the other two screws come in the package. And be careful as it comes off so that the gear from the clutch doesn't fly across the room. So that's what the gear looks like inside the clutch and just place the bead chain over the gear and you can fish it on a little bit like this. So now that's in place and then put it back. It's that simple. And put the screws back in. Three screws. And next I'm going to show you the three different brackets and how they install on top of the track. The track is assembled and now I'm ready to put the brackets on. I'm going to show you how to do that. There's three brackets that I'm going to show you. The spring-loaded bracket, which has a spring in the front and the back of the bracket which goes against the wall or the ceiling mount bracket. The track does have a front and back side. The front side has a little bit deeper lip than the back side. So this is the side that will go against the wall. You simply put the bracket on the wall and then the track will snap into place 
by squeezing the bracket. And I'll turn this around sideways so you can see better. So you'll put the track under the back of the lip here, push in the spring, and then snap that under the front of the track. That works both for the ceiling mount and the wall mount bracket. For the swing arm bracket, you'll have it mounted on the wall this way. And this has a little projection that goes down on the front. That snaps underneath of, I need to put the swing arm out of the way here. That goes underneath of the front of the track, and then you put the swing arm in place. Now it's going to be very tight. You have to make sure it snaps into place. And that's how that looks from the top. To learn how to load your cord into the drums, make sure you see the other video for how to load the cord into the Easy Rig drums.